welcome to this vlog episode. I'm excited to share with you the big news today. And yes, I am pregnant. I am growing a small human inside. And so I just wanted to share the news with you. And um, thank you for stopping by to listen to the video. I wanted to share in this vlog just how my first trimester experience went and what that's been like and uh, I'll probably keep doing some more of these vlogs. Give a thumbs up if you want to hear more about pregnancy and things like that. But I'm just going to start sharing uh, things from my first trimester. So today I am actually 20 weeks pregnant. I am halfway through my pregnancy. I have another half before I meet my little baby. I can't even believe I'm pregnant yet. Like, I don't know. It's it's been very unreal for me i can't believe there is a little human inside and that that it's growing and it's just kind of surreal i feel like it's going to become real once the baby comes here once i hold them the first trimester for me um was really difficult i would say the first probably couple of weeks that um that i was pregnant um you kind of feel normal in that time. I was still actually working out a lot because I wasn't sure, I think like before I got pregnant that I was gonna like have a baby, you know, it wasn't really planned. So I was just going about my life normal. I was still working out. I felt okay like the first week I found out like through a home pregnancy test. And um, so I just, uh, I was working out. I was at home. I even worked on a music video. Um, at some point but I did feel a little like a little more tired than usual so when you start off pregnant you kind of um, still have that normal routine and you kind of still feel that way you don't feel quite pregnant right when you start off so that's how I started but then after being like four weeks into being pregnant it's kind of when I started feeling like really really tired all of a sudden I just got up and I was like I cannot I can't work out anymore like I can't do this I feel so tired from just waking up it was true for a lot of things that I used to like or eat often be right before I got pregnant and then once I did I just didn't want them I just didn't want them anymore and that's uh, coconut water salads and kind bars for some reason then a little bit more into pregnancy, I'd say, you know, maybe from like week five on to week 12, I felt really, really tired, really exhausted all the time. And there were certain weeks that were especially worse than others. I would get plenty of rest, for example, even sleep like 10 hours easily. I can sleep, uh, I would be able to sleep a lot and then still wake up in the morning and feel like I worked a 10 to 12 hour day. And so that was really hard for me because I just felt like, how am I going to get through this? I, I've slept a lot. I wake up, I still feel tired. I feel really exhausted throughout the day. And I also experienced a lot of nausea and just feeling sick. Um, you don't experience that. You don't experience that so much like the first four weeks maybe, but then it starts coming in the following weeks. And that was really, really hard to feel nauseous and sick and to feel exhausted. And um, that just kind of took its toll. It was really daunting because I could hardly even get up to the kitchen to make something easy like a cereal or oatmeal. Unfortunately, during my first trimester, I felt like I didn't really eat as healthy as I would have wanted because it was so hard to just be able to get up and make anything, even make an easy snack or something that doesn't require cooking was so, so hard for me. So I kind of fell off the green smoothie wagon and I had green smoothie like a handful of times and my first trimester was during like the start, the end of fall, you know, going into colder weather um, and that was also, I think that was also pretty hard for me because 
the colder weather makes you want to bundle up it makes you want warmer foods so we ended up eating out way too much you know <laughs> way more than I'm proud of. Another thing in my first trimester pregnancy that I know may be hard for women uh, to talk about, but um, I know I was going through a lot of hard things in my personal life, so I kind of felt down for a while on top of feeling exhausted and on top of feeling nauseous and, and sick and experiencing these changes and, and having a hard time even just making food for myself and just getting up and doing normal things around the house. I was going through a lot of, you know, just life things that I had to take care of and that kind of made me feel a little down, kind of like depressed for some time. And it was uh, really, really hard. I'm so grateful for, for my husband that he was so loving and supporting. And when I'd feel like I was just failing and that I wasn't, able to do anything and I felt down about everything that that I needed to do and how I was feeling and he would look at me and say you're doing awesome and just be there and hug me and I thought he's the sweetest for doing that and um, so I understand and um, you know just because you're pregnant doesn't mean everything's like fabulous and cheery um, you still struggle in feeling like the struggles or any, any hardships that you're going on through life and um, I would just say, you know, uh, open up about it, don't don't say you're not feeling that way, be with, uh, talk about it with friends and family, your husband, your boyfriend, um, just make sure to get that out there so that you can heal and, and feel better from it. So yeah, um, pregnancy has not all been easy. At this point, I am 20 weeks halfway, um, so I am in my second trimester, and I'll just say that it's way better than the first. I've regained a lot of my energy back. I've been able to move forward from a lot of like that depression I was feeling and just, you know, feeling down and, and worried about um, life things that were going on, a lot of stuff I was having to fix and, and do, and uh, just work related. I am a freelancer. That's another hard thing is, um, you know, now that with a baby coming and I worry about being able to work and have enough money for, for things now and for things then. And so, you know, all those kinds of life things, um, you know, I still struggle with somewhat, but I've been feeling way better this second trimester. Uh, my appetite returned. I've been eating a lot more and I just feel like you know, I can wake up and, and do things. I can wake up and cook and do some cleaning and take care of things and, and go out and not feel awful. So it's been a great change from the first trimester. I'm just looking forward to what is coming next. And yeah, before I finish this vlog, I just kind of wanted to share things that I did during my first trimester to help me feel better. And I was really desperate. I was so desperate because I just, felt sick and awful and like I couldn't eat much and um, it's just a bad feeling and then when I you'd have to do things like go out I actually had to go out and work a few times while I was pregnant and I was like how in the world am I going to get through that so things that I did I was like googling and trying to look up videos to see what to do and I heard about preggy pop drops and lollipops so this is what the box looks like. If you can see, it says preggy, preggy pop drops. There's a pregnant woman on here. They're basically little wrapped candies. And there's also preggy pops right here. And they're just lollipops. It's basically hard candy. And even though these say these are preggy pops and drops, I'm pretty sure if you get just any kind of um, candy, hard candy at the store, that it would help with nausea and sickness. It says they're all natural flavors, peppermint, spearmint, lavender, ginger, sour lemon, sour tangerine, sour raspberry, drug-free natural ingredients recommended by healthcare. I mean, I look at the ingredients and it doesn't look like there's any, anything special about them. I don't know if they're organic or anything like that. So if you'd feel better buying some organic candy, um, that is a, a good help while you're sick and nauseous. I found that these helped 
um, it helped while I sucked on them for that period of time, but then the sickness returns. So it's, it's kind of as long as you have it in your mouth, it kind of helps. So I would uh, suck on these when I had something to do or when I would go out and I'd have to go drive and go buy groceries or go pay a bill or do something. I'd, uh, I would eat these while I was doing anything that required more effort and more concentration. Another thing I saw on Google, which I'm not really sure if it worked, I don't know, um, but they're the Motion Sickness Relief Bands and they look like this. They kind of stretch and you put, they have like a little pressure point ball and you put it here, you put it like that, I think like two fingers down from your wrist. It's just a little pressure point that you put on your thing like that. But basically I would wear these bands also when I would go out to drive or uh, when I was taking care of things or just being here at home. I'm not, I don't even know if they like helped a lot, but I'd be wearing these and like eating the candy and just like, I was so desperate to just feel anything. So yeah, those are the things that I would try to um, eat or do to make me feel better. But yeah, to wrap up this vlog, you know, a little summary. Uh, first trimester was so hard for me. I struggled personally emotionally and uh, physically and um, I didn't eat the healthiest which I look back on and I tried to not be hard on myself because you know it was just a big change and all different and basically all I could think was just of surviving I just wanted to survive day by day I just wanted to get through uh, I'm glad that I feel way better and I've been working on um, being more healthy now. I got back on drinking green smoothies and eating more fruit. And during my first trimester, I did love eating bananas a lot. I ate a lot of bananas and then uh, lots of kiwis and stuff. Thank you for watching this uh, little vlog announcement and introduction. I do plan on doing some more uh, pregnancy videos. To, to share more about my experience. I know this is a little bit of a summary or, or an overview of uh, what is going on uh, with me and being pregnant, uh, but I hope to share some of my pregnancy recipes and some of the little workouts that I've been doing and just give a thumbs up if you want anything more pregnancy related. Thank you so much for watching and my cat wanted to say goodbye and I'm just going to end this vlog with a, a belly update with a 20 week belly update. Thank you for watching and I hope to share more of my experience and what is going on with pregnancy and how I'm feeling and, and uh, doing as I progress more and more. So thank you for watching.